Welcome back to our City Lights Two Starry Nights channel. We are doing some fun things around here. It's loud because Ela is mowing, but we are building a table saw and then we're gonna start our chicken coop. So we built our chicken brooder run just recently and we decided it is time to have a table saw in this house because we need one. <laughs> With all these building things, we just, it's time for us to have a table saw. So Scott went out and bought a table saw and now the kids are helping him put that together and then we're gonna start laying out our chicken coop and making sure that we have everything we need. So we thought we'd take you along for how we're doing this. We really don't, like, we have an idea of what we're gonna do, but we, we don't know, really know exactly how it's gonna work out. So it's kind of just gonna be like, oh, let's build it this way. So uh, that is kind of how we run things around here. So we'll just take you along and show you what we end up doing for our chicken coop. All right. So, yeah, well, I need, need you to hold them from the end. No, 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 the other end. While they are doing that, let me take you out to where we have the chicks and show you how happy they are in their little brooder run. They are loving it. So we have a little bit of cloth over the top that is like a, I think it's a weed barrier cloth, but we're just using it as for shade for them. Because during like the bright morning and midday, it kind of gets a little bright in there and they need a little bit of shade. I think right now they're okay. But look at them. They are loving it. Hi chickies. We gave them a little bit of dirt and like some rocks so they could get some grit on their own and do a little dust bath. We have the large water and and feed in here. We don't have the feed all the way in because they literally will just like dump it out. They're little stinkers. But here is our brooder method. Let me move this. Here's our brooder method um, example from like what Justin Rhodes does. So we literally just built something very similar to what he did or put together, not built necessarily. But um, our idea is to use this at night as well. It's just been so hot. I've been, not been keeping them in here, been moving them to the, our other brooder that has an open top with a wire on it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a wire top for this one since this will be like our brooder all the time. Oh, the sun is wanting to do crazy stuff right now. So we will use this brooder every time we want to do, like, get new chicks, and so this will be our setup. So now we have it, and we don't have to worry about uh, scrambling to get something set up. So I'm excited because in three weeks we're gonna get we're gonna get more chicks, like five to eight chicks, from a local breeder around here, and we're gonna get uh, Morans. And so these guys will be in the coop by then because we're gonna have the coop done, and we'll be able to put the Morans in in this system. Um, but yeah, so it is just hot right now, so we're trying to keep them cool, and they seem to be doing fine though. They love it. They love the grass. We moved us to a new location today, and they just went to town eating the grass already. So I think we're going to start moving it every single day, just move it across the yard. Yeah, pretty fun. They love this when we feed them grass. You guys love just to feed you grass, huh? They're very lively. You gonna feed him some grass? All right, let me give you guys a little update of what we have done so far. It is um, starting to get the frame together. We had to figure out if we had enough wood and uh, I did not buy very many two by fours so we're just trying to like make it make do. And I don't want it too heavy so that's why I did not bring, buy too many we have a bunch of two by twos and so we got I'm gonna use the two by or the four two by fours for the frame poles and then the two by twos to like frame in the rest of the actual coop. So this will be the back side. We already have placement for the wheels that we're gonna put in. So hopefully everything works out. We're just kind of like winging it and seeing what happens.
same is up. We have the base. We're just gonna have chicken wire around that. And we're gonna put plywood around here and make the roof. So the roof's gonna be taller than that side so the rain can go down. We made it really large. <laughs> it looks way larger here than it does. Oh, my drawing. But our, my drawing is coming to life. What do you think, Myla? You helping? Uh, yeah. You helping us with the screws? <laughs> Good job. Got the floor in and the top. We trimmed down the top a little bit so it wouldn't be so tall for the roof. That's the next step. So now we're going to do what, babe? The walls? Walls starting with the back wall. Back wall? Okay. Yep. Back wall. Watch your hand. Side wall. We had to adjust a few things, move some boards, add some boards so that we could screw, have something to screw into. So, yeah, we just make a little adjustments, which is common, happens when you are not using any like set plans. So, this wall is next. Then we're going to do that one and cut out all of our holes <laughs> that we need. Scott's making fun of me because I was adjusting the safety glasses and the pencil before I turned on the camera. So, <laughs> we're hot and sweaty and sticky. That's just the reality of it. We are about ready to cut the nesting boxes into the back. So we're just gonna mark where we want them. I don't, I don't want them too high or too low. I want them to be able to jump into them and not like the hay nut or straw, whatever, get out. And, but the kids still be able to reach in and grab the eggs for us so they can like, that can be one of their chores. So that is what we're about to do. Get down the drill. It's coming together. So far we are. We have like the base basic frame done. We need to do frame out the door on the front and get that wood panel up on the front and then we have to go to the store so this is the thing that happens so when you're not for sure like exactly how you're doing it we need to go to the store and get uh, saw blades to help us do uh, cut out the openings because we do not have wood blades that are sharp enough to cut out the openings and we also ran into a problem with our roof material we just bought the metal roofing like panels and we realized that they're not wide enough. So even with them two put together and overlapping just a tiny bit so the rain doesn't get in, it's not wide enough. So we're gonna have to go back and for one more panel of that, which stinks because that means we have to take the Yukon because it's really long. <laughs> and, um, and some blades. So we'll have to see if we can get there in the next couple days, but this is a lot. I feel like this has been a lot 
Yes, it is. Yeah, it's been a good progress for the day. We have got the majority of the All main nature. part of it to put together. So it takes a lot to get this type of progress when you have five kids. <laughs> oh, Mayla. Okay. And it's like after six, and Mila just woke up from a nap, so that's gonna be fun tonight. And we haven't done dinner yet. What do you want for dinner? Uh, I want to have sandwiches, sandwiches or chicken nuggets. Uh, sandwiches or chicken nuggets? Uh-huh. Okay. Or hot dogs? Uh-huh. <laughs> Something super easy. All right, so this is what we've got so far. I will do another video when we do the second part of the chicken coop and you guys can see how that's going to go. I'm going to go buy some white paint and we're going to like deck it all out and make it super cutesy. So until next time, thanks for joining us guys. Oh, you got me.